also we must be we must be careful and alert the children the young people that such things can happen and they have to be vigilant we can't allow anybody just wearing a robe to take advantage of our children yes. and uh, uh, it may be this one in a thousand but we cannot allow that so uh, whether it is in a uniform whether it's in a robe whether it's in in any type of 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 uh, guys uh, we have to alert our children to be watchful and uh, not allow them to be abused or get into that position again so that's an important message that I think crosses all sorts of borders. You know, yes. It's not about no. a particular type of religion no. or a particular no, type of no, culture. No, 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 not at all, not mm -hmm. at all. You know, as I said, if it was, if the guy was uh, was a baker, he <laughs> was in, in the bakery. You know, of course. <laughs> if it was a newscaster, he'd be shooting here. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, getting back to the film again now. <coughs> um, you shot. You had uh, selected a few locations that you liked. And you've uh, selected one location. I don't. I don't know if it's right for me to disclose where the location is. Okay, it's in Horana. Yeah. It's a Balao in Horana. Why there? Was that a place that you thought looked similar to the actual location where Father Matthew? It looked there? very similar to Father Matthew's house. I see. And uh, the 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 other area. It was conducive to filmmaking, and also it 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 uh, it, it was the closest thing I could get right. to look like his house. Is know? it harder to shoot a, a period piece than? Obviously, I'm guessing, uh, for me, I think it looks hard to shoot a period piece um, apart from shooting um, a movie set in the modern era. Yeah, well, anything, you know, if it's period, you know, we have to see what type of, what type of cars they drove, what, mm -hmm. type, what type of uh, clothes they wore. So it's always more difficult, but it's more interesting also. Yeah. So that's just part of the game, right? I mean, uh, if the story is good, we, we, we make the story happen. Mm -hmm. you know? So you have a great team of people around you who are supporting yeah. you in that yeah. res uh, respect. Oh, I have, I have a very talented uh, outfit, mm -hmm. Film Location Services, Private Limited. We've been in business for 38 years, so we are good. <laughs> yeah. well, <then. laughs> we are the best. <laughs> and we should give a thumbs up when he said that. Yeah, thumbs up. up. <laughs> Film Location <laughs> Services. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've done so many movies. Huh? Yeah, that's yeah. A lot of and experience movies. comes into play there yeah, as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, have you taken any artistic liberties with this film, as opposed to the story that you do know actually happened? Are there any things that you have, you know, used to cross over and bridge over certain uh, situations or certain scenes? That yeah, um, yeah, that always happens. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, when you're writing a screenplay, you might, you might. You, you can't have all the people that were involved. Somehow you mold uh, two or three characters into one. I see, okay. To get the point across, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, that is done very often. And we have to overcome certain time elements. So certain, certain licenses are taken. But in this particular movie, I'm trying to stay as close to the story as possible. The court records are there. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of material. And there's, not, there's no need to make anything up. There's absolutely no need. There's <laughs> enough stuff. The I can story make, is controversial I can, enough. I can, <laughs> make, I can make two movies out of mm -hmm. this, this thing. All right, now getting back to, uh, <coughs> from according to Matthew, moving back to a common man. Now, um, obviously to that, ma the actresses and the actors in According to Matthew are great. But you didn't uh, work with someone big like you did with Ben Kingsley um, on A Common Man. And also Ben Cross. I believe that... Ben Kingsley gave a few words about Rutnam where he spoke about him. This is actually take a look. This I want wow. to hear. Ben speaking about You Chandler guys have done some Rutnam. homework. <laughs> we tried. <laughs> when I looked at my uh, 2011 calendar, it was absolutely packed. There was no room for an extra film. And fortunately, um, Mr. Rutnam works in such a way that actually what on the page looks like two months work, he can reduce so that the, um, the, my, my time slot was perfect. It's beautifully written, it's very well constructed, it's a great piece of character-driven, narrative-driven drama, which is exactly what we need now. Very hard-working, very committed. Uh, they seem to have an overview. My, the crew has an overview of what needs to be done, and it comes from the top. Mr. Rutman is very generous with his information. 
he allows his crew to participate in the telling of the story. Now some directors don't. They don't allow their, they don't allow their crew to participate so that your cameraman and your sound man doesn't quite know what he's supposed to be recording because the director hasn't sufficiently shared. All he said is action and do your thing. All these signals one can give to the crew knowing that they are so in touch with the director that they c can integrate it into the bigger picture. Oh, wow. <laughs> A very generous director to his crew. Well, it is true. I know it by first hand. You are. <laughs> All right. so, yeah. Were there any experiences you had with someone who was so autocratic that you decided, I'm not going to work like this guy? Oh, not really. It was just not your really. style that you developed no, through your yeah, personality. It's a style you develop. You know, um, you know, when you know who you are, you just do your thing. You know, I don't try to imitate anybody. Right. I try to get the best pictures possible. Uh, I have a lot of help from my family and my friends to make a movie. I, I, I seek advice. I don't know everything. I'm learning. I'm learning right, you know, on every film I learn something new. Mm -hmm. And uh, now even in our casting uh, of, of um, Matthew, uh, my, my wife is doing the casting with, her, with a group of people. So yeah. I try and get the family involved and I get my friends involved. I'm more comfortable in, uh, with, with, with the support of these people that I know. And it makes my job much easier then, mm -hmm. you know. Right. And now Ben actually mentioned that you shot this movie in, what, 28 days? I shot it in 28 days. 28 days. Now yeah. that's, um, what, what is the key to that, to shooting a film no, no, yeah, of that? Listen, you, the, the, actors, the actor said he's only available for a few days. Right. So you've got to go with the flow. I mean, uh, otherwise you don't have a movie. Mm -hmm. I can't argue and say, no, no, I need 35 days. And they'll say, forget it. Right. We are not available and we can't do it. So, we, are, you know, we don't call all the shots. Mm. There are certain constraints and restrictions imposed upon the director. Uh, you have to do it in a certain uh, uh, time period, uh, at a certain budget. So there are a lot of uh, constraints which we don't talk about, but we have to uh, uh, go along with the flow here, you know. So I had 20, uh, uh, I, I shot it in 28 days. Um, uh, Sir Ben gave me 14 days. But I, I finished him off in 12, and uh, I, I asked him to take a holiday for two days. Because <laughs> <laughs> he has to see beautiful Sri Lanka. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> he shot the only scene with Ben Cross and Ben Kingsley on the last day, if I'm correct. Yes, on, the la on, on Ben Kingsley's last day and uh, Ben Cross's first day. They had only one day together. So when Ben Kingsley went off, and then we started on Ben Cross. So right. Speak more about the experiences that you've had on this set as well as more about according to Matthew. But right now we are going for a short break. Stay with us on Good Morning Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm.